When you think of board games to play with kids, you're probably thinking of Monopoly, Sorry, Shoots and Ladders, Candyland, and there's nothing wrong with a good classic. But what if I told you there were more out there? What if I told you there were better options to break you out of the monotony of roll these dice, move that piece? Well, you're in luck, because today I've compiled a list just for you. We're talking about the 10 board games that I would recommend that you break out at your next family game night. So let's start with some of the more simple ones first, and then we'll move on to some that are maybe a little bit more complicated. Number one on our list is a game called Spot It. In Spot It, you're gonna have a card like this with different symbols on that card, and everyone is going to have their own stack of cards just like these. At the same time, everyone's gonna flip over their card, and your job, once you flip over your card, is to find the matching symbol between the two cards, okay? There's gonna be one in the middle and everyone else is gonna have their own. First one to call out their matching symbol gets the card and gets the point. It's really that simple, uh, but it's a super fun game to play with any age kids, but it can be frustrating at times when you just swear there's not a matching symbol on it, but there is always at least one. And so that's the number one game on our list. Spot it. Number two is a game called Loop and Chewy, which is originally based off a game named Loop and Louie. So how this works is you're going to have this big unit in the middle with Chewbacca and the Millennium Falcon that's gonna be flying around, and each player is going to have this game paddle. And there's gonna be three tokens on your game paddle. So the concept is you're trying to hit Chewy up into the air so that he does not get your game tokens. You're trying to keep him away from yours and trying to get him to hit other people's. So it's really simple. If you ever run out of tokens, uh, you're out, and whoever is the last man standing wins. Again, that's Loop and Chewy. Number three on our list is a game called Pass the Pigs. It's a very simple game. It's a press your luck dice game. You're gonna be rolling these tiny pigs. Um, and based on how they land, you're gonna get more or less points. So being a press your luck game, you can roll as many times as you want, but if they land in one specific position, you're gonna lose all the points you've been saving up. So that's where the game aspect comes in. But it's very simple for all ages because all they have to do is roll these tiny pigs here, um, which is super fun because it's very visually appealing to roll a tiny pig. Or should I say, a squealing. I'll cut that out later. Don't worry about it. Um, but they roll that. We tell them how many, how many points they got, and they're just trying to get to 100. Super simple. Pass the pigs. Number four on our list is a game called Martian Dice. If you couldn't tell from the name, it is a dice game. I have all these dice here. Beautiful dice. Um, but basically the concept is you're a Martian that has invaded Earth and you're trying to abduct as many uh, humans, cows, and chickens as possible. Those are all gonna be worth points at the end of your turn. But you do not want to face these tanks. If you roll too many tanks, they are going to uh, take away your points, take away your cows, your chickens. It's not great. Uh, but it's okay because you have death rays that you can use to fight off the tanks. But it's a really fun game. You maybe should be about eight, seven or eight years old to, to play this game, but it is a very fun game. It goes super quick. You can play multiple rounds and it's just fun to throw a bunch of dice with some funny looking sides on the dice. Um, so that is number four, Martian Dice. Number five on our list is a game called Dixit. Now Dixit's a lot like apples to apples, except for instead of word cards, we have these beautifully illustrated picture cards that you're going to be using. Um, and when it's your turn, you are the storyteller and you are going to use like a word or phrase that tries to get enough people to guess the card that you are laying down, but not everyone because everyone's going to get a chance to lay a card down based on your word or phrase and it, you get points for how many people guess yours. Um, however, if you are the storyteller, if it's your turn and everyone guesses that it was yours, if you were too specific, well, then you don't get any points and everyone else gets points. So that's what makes the game pretty fun, uh, but also just these illustrations. There are tons and tons of expansions for this game with just amazing illustrations. So that's Dixit, very fun, but you're probably gonna wanna be about eight years old or older um, so that you can give some fairly good clues and not get frustrated. But if you are younger than that, there's these teeny tiny rabbit meeples that you're gonna be moving across the board. Ain't that cute? It is, it's cute. Number six is Rhino Hero. This was one of the most suggested games whenever I said I was going to be doing this list. The concept of it is you are building up a building higher and higher, all right? So the board just keeps getting higher and higher. 
So you're gonna have these little bending wall cards that you're going to be placing onto these foundation cards that are flat. Your whole goal in this game is to get rid of all your foundation cards. So you're gonna place the walls, then you play a foundation card. Walls, foundation card, everyone's gonna go in a circle doing that. If you ever knock over the whole building, you lose. And then whoever has the least amount of uh, foundation cards will be the winner. Which is entirely possible because there's this little guy called Rhino Hero that is going to be sometimes, ha you have to put him into the building. That's what makes this very interesting. Super fun game, Rhino Hero, that's number six. Number seven, King of Tokyo. In King of Tokyo, you're going to be giant monsters battling it out, trying to take over the city of Tokyo. And you're gonna do that by rolling dice, kind of like these, pretty, pretty big dice. Um, that can give you victory points, uh, they can give you attack points that you're going to use to attack the other monsters, or you can gain health or energy so that you can buy special abilities for your monster. Uh, it's a pretty fun game, very, very simple. I would say about eight years old plus for this, uh, but it's awesome because you have these uh, giant standee miniatures like this that are going to represent your monsters. So it's very visually engaging, but also it's got some pretty good gameplay as well. So, King of Tokyo, that's number seven. Number eight on our list is a game called Flick 'em Up. Flick 'em Up is an old Western style game where you're going to be placing things like this onto your table to create your old West town. And you're gonna have your outlaws versus your sheriffs. And you're gonna be using little tokens like this to shoot at each other. Well, all the while you guys have different objectives that you're trying to complete. Uh, whether that's robbing a bank or doing whatever else happens in an old Western town. It's very fun. There are a few more rules to this, but it is very simple at its core. Everything you do is by the flick of your finger. If you want to move, you have a movement token that you're flicking to where you want to go. If you want to shoot at someone, you've got that little token that are bullets that you're trying to flick at the other people. And so very fun game, pretty simple, a few more rules, but there are scenarios and it can fill up a table really nicely. And it's just super fun. So that's Flick 'em Up, number eight. Speaking of the Old West, number nine is Bang the Dice Game. That's right, another Old Western game for this list. So in this game, you're gonna be rolling these dice and you're gonna be doing what's called Yahtzee style rolling, which is where you have two re-rolls if you want to take them. But you are using these dice to do everything in the game and you're gonna have different objectives based on who your character is. So you might be a sheriff and your job is to get rid of all the outlaws. You might be an outlaw who's trying to get rid of the sheriff. You might be a deputy that's just trying to help the sheriff win, or you might be a renegade who's just trying to be the last man standing. So everything you're wanting to do, you're gonna do with these dice, whether that's uh, trying to shoot the other people who are bad guys or good guys if you're the outlaw, uh, or whether that's trying to heal yourself using these things that I call root beer. That's what we're gonna call it, okay? Um, or whether you're using a Gatling gun to try to get everyone some hits, okay? And so there's a lot to this game, but it's also very simple. You're just rolling these dice and taking the actions that you get with them. It's very fun, but again, I would say maybe eight years old plus for this one. That is Bang, the dice game. Our number 10 game on the list is Throw Throw Burrito. It's a very interesting concept for a game because it's dodgeball meets card game meets burritos. Weird, um, but it is very fun concept of this. You are playing cards to try to earn points, but every once in a while, the cards that you're gonna be playing are going to be battle cards. Then you'll have to duel it out with these here burritos. Don't worry, they don't hurt when you get hit with them, but they are very fun to throw at each other. It's great because it gets your kids up and moving and active with a quick game of table dodgeball or dodge burrito. Anyway, you'll just have to try it out for yourself. It's throw, throw burrito, and that's number 10. Well, there you have it. That's 10 board games that you can play with your kids at your next family game night. If you liked any that you saw and you want to buy them, I put Amazon links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.